Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. Today I want to talk about this ARM1 US made clone. This isn't the actual Bulgarian made one. Uh, this is still made by Arsenal USA. I replaced my old Zeneco DTK3 and the reason for that is people who are a lot more knowledgeable have said that a flash hider is a much better option, especially for what I use this rifle for, or how I have it set up, which is primarily for home defense. So, you know, you have less blast on yourself. It doesn't affect your night vision, whether that's your natural night vision or night vision goggles as much when you have a flash hider compared to a muzzle brake. There's a lot of good options out there for flash hiders. And, well, we'll see how this one does when I actually test it. From what I've found out in my research before buying this, this does seem like it's a pretty effective flash hide, or at least the uh, Bulgarian version of it is. I'm, I haven't seen any reviews on this actual US made one, but just for the start, you know, just looking at a few basic details of it, it it's very reminiscent of a sort of like a birdcage flash hider for uh, your ARs, except much more bit large to fit these uh, 24 millimeter threads on the AK-74. And I can't test this. I don't have an AK-74 bayonet. This does have the same dimensions as your standard a muzzle brake on a AK-74, so I believe that if you had an AK-74 bayonet that this would fit it. Uh, personally, I'm not in World War I, I'm not out there in the trenches, but if any of you are watching this from uh, pretty much a hundred years ago, then uh, that might be a good consideration to make, that this probably can fit your bayonet. So, uh, <laughs> but other than that, let's get to testing this out at the range, see how, uh, so a, a few things I'm going to be testing. I'll test uh, the effect, um, how much more recoil I'm feeling, and how different my recovery time is with this compared to the DTK3 I was using before. And I'll also, of course, test the flash as well as I can. I cannot shoot in absolute darkness. That's just the rules where I'm at with the ranges I'm uh, that I have available to me. But I'm going to try my best. And also, if you want to check the description below the video, I will have a, a link to one of the videos I watched that had a really good comparison between a bunch of different muzzle brakes and flash hiders, including not this specific one, but the Bulgarian made version. And uh, yeah, that'll be in the description. So check that out if you want to. It's a very good video. Otherwise, let's get this out to the range and let's see how it does. Okay, I'm gonna test the flash here on this ARM1 US made clone of the flash hider. I've already done a little bit of shooting. Uh, I'll cut this footage in. I already tested how the recoil is. I did want to mention on that that I'm not going to be testing it with the Mantis. I didn't explain this very well, but for context, in my previous muzzle brake tests that I've done on this AK, I've always used a Mantis X device that attaches to the gun, and it just measures your muzzle rise and other recoil factors very quantitatively. But it actually did damage the unit a bit after trying to use it so much on the Zeneco because the rails are ever so slightly larger than your regular Picatinny's. Every manufacturer has slightly different dimensions, so it's a little bit of an issue with that Mantis X and how it attaches, so yeah, that's why I'm not using it here. Because that actually does a bit of an issue attaching to the Zeneco rails, I noticed that the polymer on that Mantis X was starting to crack, so I'm not going to be doing it now. But just to kind of conclude, from that segment, um, you know, I'm just basing it off of how long it takes me between shots to recover. And no surprise, it does take longer with this because it's not a muzzle brake, this is an actual flash hider. However, it's not bad, the increase in, re in uh, recovery time. So yeah, I'll cut that in right here. And uh, then in a bit, once it gets a little bit darker, I will actually test the flash. I tested it in the broad daylight earlier and it didn't seem that bad, but of course it was the broad daylight. Granted, I could actually see flash uh, back when I was using the DTK3 muzzle brake and that was in the broad daylight. But uh, actually, technically, it already is past sundown, so uh, we'll see how much darker it gets, and uh, hopefully it will actually work well as a test. 0 0.35, both were center mass. Zero point three two. exactly the same, 0 0.32, 0 0.32 again, 0 .32 again. All right. okay, I'm going to fire it now, this is about as dark as I can get it.
from that footage. Seems like it's doing really well on the flash. A uh, little caveat I want to mention is while it does look kind of bright, now it wasn't complete darkness of course when I recorded that just because of when I'm allowed to shoot out there, but um, one thing I did want to mention is that my camera does auto brighten, so it actually was a little darker than how it looks to all of you. However, it definitely wasn't super, super dark. When I was considering purchasing this flash hider and comparing it to some other flash hiders, I found a very good video that shows a whole bunch of different flash hiders and actually a few muzzle brakes too, if I remember right, in complete and utter darkness. I will link that in the description below if you guys want to check that video out. They did not test this exact flash hider. They tested the actual Bulgarian ARM one. I don't know exactly what the differences are aside from it, you know, being American made versus Bulgarian made. But aside from that, I, I'm guessing probably the material might be different. This American made version is made out of stainless steel and then it's sear coated. And I'm, I'm just suspecting, and this is just, I'm going off on a limb here. I'm guessing that the Bulgarian one's probably made out of a different type of steel. So it could act different than this one. But I suspect they'd probably be pretty much about the same. I mean, it's literally the exact same design. As for some other considerations you might have, the weight and the length. So starting with the weight, the DTK3 weighs a total of 198 grams on my scale, which is 7 ounces. The ARM1 came in at 120 grams or 4.2 ounces, which is a difference of 78 grams or 2.75 ounces, rounding that a little bit. So that's a fair bit of weight, especially out there at the very end of the muzzle. You can definitely feel the difference. Uh, and then as for the weight, the DTK3 is 106.3 millimeters or 4.2 inches. The ARM1 comes in at 82.6 millimeters or 3.25 inches, which is a difference total of 23.7 millimeters, 0 0.9 inches, approximately one inch if you round that up. So the ARM1 clone, I should say, which, you know, in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's going to be the same whether you get the Bulgarian or the American version. But yeah, it's uh, about an inch different, which is really nice. There are shorter flash hiders out there. So if you're consider if one of your considerations is getting it as compact as possible, uh, I know Krebs, for example, makes a pretty compact flash hider and uh, Manticore makes one that's pretty compact that I've heard some good things about as well.